Hey guys, that's why I'm back with another video for you today. Today's video is going to be a makeup look for a night out. I realized in my past videos that I haven't really done like a night out makeup look before. Um, I usually do like a smoky eye, but they're usually like a soft and smoky eye or something like that. This smoky eye is still soft and it's a little on the neutral side, but it is outside of my box. Um, <laughs> I kind of wanted to do something a little more edgy for you, um, so I went with like some blues, burgundies, purples, I just wanted to tie all of those colors together and create something fun for you. Something that I haven't really done in the past. So that is what I went ahead and did. I also applied false lashes, which I typically don't do, but if I do do false lashes, I kind of want them to look like my own lashes, so I like lashes that are more like, you know, kind of neutral looking, not, you know, so much. Um, I think with a smoky eye like this, lashes kind of complete the look. So um, again, like I said, I do love wearing false lashes. I just don't really like wearing false lashes that really look extremely fake. I feel like if you wear false lashes, you know, it's fun to just like do them up a little bit, but not too much. So that is what I did. Um, the false lashes that I used are my favorite false lashes. They're by Andrea and they're the number 53s. I absolutely love them. They look a lot like my lashes, but just a little more fuller. So um, that is what I did. And then for my cheeks, I just kept it really soft and neutral. I think, again, with the smoky eye, you just need to keep everything else soft. So I just went with a really soft pink cheek and um, just a soft pink nude lip. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you want to see how I did it, then just Okay, so I'm going to grab my Lorac palettes. And the first color I'm going to be taking is the color Mauve. It's just this really pretty purpley kind of pink color. And I already primed my eyes with the Lorac um, primer. So I'm just going to take a 224 brush and just kind of dust it off because this these shadows do have a ton of fallout. So I'm just going to place this color right into the crease. This is going to be our transition color and kind of bring it out just a little bit. Got an eyelash on my cheek. Just kind of bring it out, flick it out just a little bit. And then the next color I'm going to be taking is the color called Garnet, and it's just this really pretty kind of burgundy kind of color. And I'm gonna take a 217 brush by MAC and I'm going to place that right into my crease and I'm going to bring that all the way in. This is just going to go a little bit lower than that mauve color that we placed in there. And again, just flick it out just a little bit. Kind of turn your brush to the side to really define that crease. And next I'm going to take another MAC 217 brush. This is just a smaller one. I don't know why i said this in the past, but I have two MAC um, 217 brushes, and one is just a little bit thinner than the other one. So I'm going to be taking the thinner one, and I'm going to go in with that color Deep Purple, and I'm just going to be dipping this right at the tip of that brush, and again, dust your brush off, and then just kind of build this color in that outer crease. You are going to look like you have a black eye at this point, but that's okay, because we're gonna blend everything out. So just build this color to your intensity, and don't bring it all the way in. I'm just stopping like halfway, and then kind of flicking that out as well. Just like that. Again, it's going to look a little funny, but that's okay. Just keep blending. Now I'm going to go back in with that um, 224 brush and it's going to be cleaned off. Just kind of blend everything out at this point. You don't want to have any harsh lines. Just keep blending. Now I'm going to go in with the short shader brush. This is Sigma's E20 brush and I'm going to go in with that black color. I'm kind of just going to start at an angle and bring this color down just like that. We don't want to add too much, but just a little bit. Again, tap your brush off because these colors do have a ton of fallout. And then I'm going to go in with this 224 brush and just kind of blend everything out. Two 
217 brush, just blend everything out. And then I'm going to go in with the color Slate. It's just this really pretty grayish kind of gunmetal blue color. And I'm going to take um, Max, I don't even know what brush this is. The numbers have wiped off, so I will leave it in the box down below. Um, just take this color and apply it all over your lid. The reason why I like to take this color and apply it last is because I don't want to lose the intensity of this color with all of those dark colors that we placed onto the crease. So just place it all over the lid. Just like that. And then go ahead and grab your 224 blush brush and just blend everything out one more time. And then I'm going to go in with my um, highlighter shade. I like to use Urban Decay's ABC gum and just use any kind of brush that you have. This is Sigma's E50. I'm just going to place this color right underneath my eyebrow and kind of just soften everything up so nothing looks harsh or anything. Realized I forgot my liner. And then I'm going to go in with Max Smolder. And I'm just going to take this right above the lashes. And you don't have to be too precise with this because we are going to smudge this out. And then I'm also going to be tight lining and then placing it onto my waterline as well. And then just drag a little bit of the same color right up against your lashes. And like I said, we're going to be smudging that liner out on the top. So just pull your eye a little taut and kind of just go over it with any kind of brush that you have. I'm using this uh, Sigma E20 brush. And just kind of smudge that out. Then I'm going to go in with some liner. And this is a L'Oreal Paris Super Slim um, liquid liner and I'm just going to go closest to the lashes and just kind of darken that up a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. And I'm not doing anything fancy like winging out my line or anything like that. I'm just applying it closest to the lash line. And so this is just to conceal that band when we apply our lashes. And then I'm going to take that darkest color, again that deep purple color, and I'm going to take a pencil brush. This is Sigma's E, oh, yikes, I don't even know. I'll leave this one in the box down below too. All of my numbers kind of wore off. And then I'm just gonna drag this color right underneath my lashes and just kind of smoke it out even more. And then to kind of soften everything up, I'm gonna take that 217 brush and it's clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and just soften that up even more really smoke it out and connect it to that outer part of your eye just like that now I'm just going to be taking my eyelash curler curl them just a little bit not too much because we are going to be adding some false lashes some false lashes but before I do that I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara to the top and bottom I'm going to finish this up and I will do it. Okay, so I went ahead and I finished applying my mascara. I finished applying my mascara. And then I finished applying my false lashes as well. Um, for my cheeks, I just used a really beautiful pink color. And I used Makeup Geek's Hanky Pinky. Um, this color is so extremely pigmented. So what I suggest doing is just getting your brush, tapping it in the product, and then tapping it off a little bit. And then applying it to your cheeks because it is extremely pigmented. I kind of wanted a softer... Um, pink look so that's why I dusted it off and then I applied it to my cheeks and then for my lips I just wanted to go with something a little more of like a pink nude color so I used my favorite lip stock, lip stock lipstick by MAC it is the color Love Lorn and I absolutely love this color as you can tell and then right over top of that I just applied NYX's Butter Gloss in the color Eclair which is one of my favorite colors so that completes my look. I hope you all enjoyed this look and until next time I will see you all soon. Bye!